GMAT sentence correction. In sentence correction, one of the most common things tested is parallelism. What is parallelism? Let's see. Parallelism is the main idea, the main objective of parallelism is to make a sentence easy to understand. So there should be no doubtful comparisons. Or there should be a balance in the grammatical structures that are used. So how the balance is created? By using the same grammatical structure for all elements. So let's see what all this means. For example, there's a sentence, he was watching television, listening to music and think at the same time. What's the problem here? If we look carefully, there is he, what he was doing, he was watching television and listening to music at the same time and he was thinking so the word think is not correct here it means the correct form of the sentence is this he was watching a movie listening to music and thinking at the same time all elements in the same grammatical structure another example now she's a lady she likes baking cakes and to study stars now so this this doesn't sound right it should be she likes to bake cakes yes or she likes to study stars that is one form of the sentence that's the correct form or we can also write it like this she likes baking cakes and studying stars this is also correct form so both these verbs are used in the same form, in the same grammatical structure. Here comes John F. Kennedy. He once said, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you did for your country. Now it seems right, the sentence, but there's a problem. See, can do for your country, did for your country. It's a present form, it's a past form, it's not the right thing. This is the right form of the sentence. It should be asked not for your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. So it's the correct parallel form. Another example, now this is a, a real test a question from the official guide for GMAT. Now when we are doing these type of problems, so Time is also a major issue, so we should be doing it as quickly as possible. And see, what's the procedure? Eating salt water fish may significantly reduce the risk of heart attacks and also aid for sufferers of rheumatoid arthritis and asthma, according to three research studies and so on. It was a long sentence. But the underlined portion is this, so we have to test for this, whether this should be changed. So the first thing is, before looking at the choices, we should look if it is already correct or not. What's the problem here? They are saying, may significantly reduce, okay, and now what's this also, doesn't seem right here, 8, 4, this 4 is also not right. So the first statement, that's the repetition, repetition of this statement given in the sentence is not right then be significant in reducing the risk of heart attacks and aid for so in reducing compared to aid for wrong next one significantly reduce the risk and aid so there's no for here it it at the moment it seems right Let's test the other two. Cause a significant reduction in the risk of heart attacks and A2. No. Cause something and A2. That's not right. Significantly reduce the risk of heart attacks as well as aiding again. See. Why is ING here? 
so this is also wrong it means C is the correct answer so we'll take C that's all for today you can watch more videos for more practice sentences on the same concept thank you